The Act One workshop teaches you how to accurately interpret any animal's feelings, understanding them on a deeper, more intimate level. Since 2003, we have taught thousands of people, from pet owners, vets, behaviorists, rescue staff, trainers, and therapists, how to discover more about the minds and the physical feelings of our animal companions. The day starts with a detailed description of what animal communication is. Followed by powerful exercises that put you into the right mindset. The final part of the day is where you get to experience a communication firsthand. You are paired up with a person whose animal you do not know, and just using a photo, you will be picking up on the animal's physical and emotional feelings. Of course, you can use the skills when in person with an animal, just the same as you can using a photo. Then comes your moment of truth, when the owner of the animal gives you feedback on the details that you've picked up on. Animal communication is much easier than you may be thinking, and after just one day of learning, the results that people get are extraordinary. Not everyone at the beginning of the day believes that they can do this, and this is where Act One gives you a real experience. I got introduced to this through some friends that have done the course about six years ago, five or six years ago, it's a long time ago, um, because they were communicating with my dog and she had a problem with her throat, she still has. From a distance from where you are to me, um, they said she doesn't like her collar, that's aggravating her throat. Um, so I took the collar off and she improved a bit. So I started thinking, this is a bit strange. You know, I know dogs sit and stare at you and they look at you and they're saying, come on. And it, yeah, it's silly things like, it's tea time, they come and sit in front of you and you look at the watch and you think, yeah, it's tea time. Um, I don't actually know what they're saying to me, but I imagine they must be saying something to me. Um, and I want to try and understand them. It's, this, this is for me, not for a, a business thing, it's just for me, for just mm. understanding my own dogs. And that's what my friend's dogs are saying or thinking. But I know that I, well, I believe I, I have a problem in doing the quiet mind thing and opening up. Um, I think too much. I try and rationalise what's happening and what's going on, and I, and I don't clear my mind. I, so therefore, I, I'm not open. I don't think. And so I want to find out how to become open. And I do agility with them. I want yeah. to know that that yeah. help. I want to understand. I've got a young dog that. It, some things just don't seem to work and I want to understand yeah. perhaps how I can help him and it's, or I can explain to him or he can explain to me what the problem is. Yeah, no problem. But I'm not sure my, my head is going to be in the right place. I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You've just had somebody do a communication with your animal. I'd like you to give them a score out of 100 as a percentage of how accurate they were. Between 70 and 80, between 80 and 90, just keep your hands up, between 90 and 100, well done, so first day of trying and majority of you are between 80 and 90 percent accurate, well done, how did you guys get on here? Yvonne was great. Yeah? Vaughn was very, very good, yeah. What sort of things just briefly came up that just went, oh yeah, she's definitely got my animal? Um, that she wants more quality time with me. Mm -hmm. She said that she now, she, she said that um, she has to share me and she wants more of a one to one. And there has been a shift in, in the relationship mm -hmm. um, for various reasons. Um, when she wakes up, she wants to be noticed. And I was saying, now in the morning, I'll come downstairs. And you know, it's this old. Do you acknowledge them? You leave in five minutes. What do you do? So I don't make a big fuss. I just walk in, say good morning, and, and leave it at that. And maybe she she wants more. Um, the whole thing was that she wants more of me, mm -hmm. um, which is which is very true. The one thing you did pick up on was fantastic. Was that when she feels dog, when she meets other dogs, she feels threatened, but not on a physical level. On an, on an emotional level, right. and that's so true because she just runs off. She yeah. she gets quite agitated by other dogs, mm. and that was spot on. So now she's very very good. Excellent, well done. Now 
from the beginning of today yeah. to doing a communication <laughs> where you thought it was going to be really hard work yeah. and we had a bit of an emotional clearing as well. Yeah. How did you feel from that? How did you feel after getting the result? I'm surprised. Yeah. Um, I suppose, yeah, I had a preconception that I wouldn't pick up anything mm. and that I'd be sitting there with a blank piece of paper. Yeah. Um, so I was quite surprised at what I picked up. Um, and it, and it got, I, got, I did get emotional, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those feelings were strong. You know, when you connect to an animal who's got a lot of feelings, you, it's quite overwhelming sometimes. Mm -hmm. But well It done. surprised me. Yeah, good. <laughs> 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 <laughs>